my name's Nicole, and while doing some research, I came across something rather interesting about the history of chemical theory. When thinking of people who made a significant impact on the world of chemistry, you'll often think of Avogadro, who created his law by the same name, Dmitry Mendeleev, who gave us the foundations of the periodic table, or even Robert Bunsen, who gives us the basis for what we know about emission spectra, and obviously the Bunsen burner. Marie Curie and her work on radioactivity. You might even think about John Dalton, who was one of the most taught about people in the history of chemistry. His revolutionary ideas in atomic theory, stating that all matter is made up of atoms and that all atoms of the same element are virtually identical. But what if someone had come to the conclusions that he had first, but was simply forgotten about by history? This is the case of William Higgins, born in Ireland on September the 10th, 1763. Higgins' work in atomic theory allowed for Dalton and Sir Humphrey Davy to make their own impacts on the world of chemistry. William, second son of Thomas Higgins, had been working in the fields of chemistry his entire life, starting with when he went to work under his uncle, Brian Higgins, a chemist and physician at the time, whose lectures would be attended by notable figures such as Benjamin Franklin and Joseph Priestley, who would each go on to make their own impacts in the world. Around the time of Lavoisier and his theories that phlogiston wasn't real, these ideas resonated with William, leading him to write his first publication at the age of 27, a comparative view of the phlogistic and anti-phlogistic theories. This being one of the first books to discuss this controversial topic and the change the foundations of chemistry that came along with it. This caused William and his uncle to become estranged, seeing as Brian still believed in phlogiston, this what many early chemists believe made up fire. After this, William would continue his career and work at many different places, including Apothecaries Hall in Dublin and the Royal Dublin Society. It would be at the Society that Higgins would come to write his second book, Experiments and Observations on Atomic Theory and Electrical Phenomenon, this being the point at which Higgins accused Dalton of stealing his work and using his book to prove it. Sir Humphrey Davy would come to the aid of Higgins, who he had met on break from the Society in London in 1803 and had worked under his uncle. Their accusations and claims, however, would prove to be useless, seeing as we still credit John Dalton with the discovery and ideas that make up atomic theory, leaving the Irishman William Higgins to be forgotten by history.